Technology has changed the way we share news. The question now is whether or not people will believe anything that they read online. On social networking sites such as Twitter and Facebook, we decided to see how students would react if they saw news that wasn't exactly accurate. To find out, we set up an experiment. We posted on social networking sites saying Juan and Lua was considering a uniform policy, and a way to stop it would be to sign the petition we created on change.org. After 48 hours, we had 40 signatures and 10 comments on the petition, but the most surprising reactions we saw on social media. When did you first hear about the uniform policy? I think like two days ago on Twitter. I heard from a friend that the new uniform policy was all over Twitter and that kids were really frustrated about it. Students took this news very seriously and turned it into a trending topic. In this 48-hour period, we collected over 100 tweets and Facebook comments talking about the supposed uniform policy at Moana Lua. People went as far as saying that they were going to transfer schools if this were to happen. I mean, we should be able to dress how we want to as long as it's not over-sexual and appropriate. I think it would cost too much money for us to buy the uniforms. Some people truly believe that this policy was going to happen, even though there wasn't much evidence for it. If you look at our younger demographic, I think that they're probably getting their news online, whether it's you know via social media or Twitter. What it's doing is it's putting journalism in the hands of the everyday person. Social media isn't always reliable, but according to the Pew Research Center's Journalism Project, about half of all Facebook and Twitter users say that they get their news from those sites. I think lay people look to the media as the source of news and information. There have been tons of reports of false information on social media and blogs within the past year alone. Allegedly, Jackie Chan died, Justin Bieber got caught up in multiple inappropriate scandals, and Miley Cyrus became pregnant. Now, all of these rumors are false, but that didn't stop the millions of views each piece of news received. What I hope is that as you know, we get more and more of our news and information online, that there is an education process rate, that people are getting smarter about what's out there and what's you know, reputable versus what's not. With this experiment, it's proved just how important it is for the public to be aware of what sources they're getting their information from and how accurate they might be. Erin Yuasa, Now Loading News. Are you serious?